United USA. Check it out. So, justice.gov reporting the DOJ, Department of Justice, investigating the city of Phoenix and the Phoenix Police Division Department. Phoenix will be led by the Justice Department's Civil Rights Division. It is based on the division's extensive review of publicly available information, and it will consider several issues. First, whether the Phoenix Police Department uses excessive force in violation of the Fourth Amendment. Second, whether the Phoenix Police Department engages in discriminatory policing practices that violate the Constitution and federal law. Third, whether the department violates the First Amendment by retaliating against individuals who are engaged in protected expressive activities. Fourth, whether the city and its police department respond to people with disabilities in a manner that violates the Americans with Disabilities Act. This includes whether decisions to criminally detain individuals with behavioral health disabilities are proper. And fifth, whether the Phoenix Police Department violates the rights of individuals experiencing homelessness by seizing and disposing of their belongings in a manner that violates the Constitution. Those last two areas of investigative focus speak to an important issue that is broader than the Phoenix investigation. Our society is straining the policing profession by turning to law enforcement to address a wide array of social problems. Too often, we ask law enforcement officers to be the first and last option for addressing issues that should not be handled by our criminal justice system. This makes police officers' jobs more difficult, increases unnecessary confrontations, confrontations with law enforcement, and hinders public safety. This past week, there has been much attention to the impending risk of mass evictions, which would put millions of tenants at risk of losing shelter. Needless to say, the impact on individuals and families would be devastating, and as the CDC has made clear, the impact on public health would likewise be devastating, fueling the spread of COVID-19 infections in the affected communities. Right. Associated... Shut Okay, shut up, dude. <laughs> All right, bro. We're going to have to shut this fool down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to United USA 2020 and beyond, where you get the straight stilo on the dealio. Because obviously this fool right here, I mean, I could read a script, you know, blindfolded better than this guy can. And then they're going to start regurgitating a whole bunch of propaganda into 10 minutes and blah, 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 blah. Forget that. So long story short, Phoenix Police Department's being accused of civil rights violations, uh, primarily with homeless people. Also that I think going back to some studies, I think 2018... 2019, the Phoenix Police Department shot at more people than any other police department in the country. Um, but they're saying that uh, essentially they're under investigation by the Department of Justice simply because of discrimination or uh, excessive use of force, et cetera, et cetera. Um, all, all that stuff, okay? Um, if you guys wanted to take a look at this article, you can. It's basically self-explanatory. It's not really going to tell you too much more than what I just told you in that lame couple-minute intro briefing by this guy struggling to, to read the teleprompter. Um, <laughs> but check it out, though. Uh, I will uh, keep you all in the loop and updated as uh, updates become available about this. Uh, in the meantime, please like, share, get it out there, and I'll check you all in the next video.